When your proto max goes quiet and starts squirting water out of here, that means the nozzle has a clog. To recover this clog, you need to unplug the abrasive feeder tube from the nozzle area and over here on the hopper, I'm gonna unscrew, but not all the way, this little thumb screw. I'm gonna put this in here, take out the abrasive tube from the hopper. Down below here, we have a bin. I'm gonna take the lid off, loosen this knob, pull the screen out, take our garnet, dump it in here. When the nozzle gets clogged, it squirts water back through the abrasive tube back into the hopper, possibly contaminating our garnet. Usually I like to look at this, make sure it's nice and dry. The manual or the Protomax recommendation is to discard this, but I have found out that Usually if you catch the water jet quick enough, when the clog happens, the water does not come up into the hopper. This little area needs to be cleared out, is most likely clogged with garnet. Take the air hose, clear that. Everything needs to be nice and dry. Gonna install the hopper back on, making sure the hole is facing the machine. Tighten that back up. You will also have water inside of this feeding tube. Take the air hose. and give this some air to clear the feed tube and dry it out. Gonna reinstall the feed tube. This little ground goes right there. Get that tightened down. Put this tray. This tray prevents the water that's squirting back into the hopper, kind of goes into here back in the machine as opposed to on your computer. Okay. Now we need to actually unclog the nozzle. I'm going to take off the shielding cup. Gonna raise this up, lock it in place, take off the shielding cup. And now we need to remove the nozzle. Typically when the nozzle's clogged, we need to reverse the nozzle and blast out the garnet or whatever is clogging it. If you try to clear it without flipping it, you run a high risk of clogging it even more and therefore scrapping the nozzle or causing it to go into the cleaning tank to get cleaned an ultrasonic cleaner. In this drawer, we have some tools I'll need. This green Allen wrench to loosen this screw. Loosen this thumb screw and do not drop the nozzle in the tank. Sometimes it pops out, sometimes it's a little snug. I'm gonna grab my pliers and gently persuade it out of the head of the water jet. Gonna close the lid. Go over into the 
Make application, run a test. Test cut, next, next. Basically, gonna clear out that head of the water jet. Now I'm going to install the nozzle upside down. If I blow on this, it actually is already kind of cleared. So sometimes these clogs are more catastrophic and it needs to be cleared. I probably could have gotten by with just flushing out the nozzle and cleaning out the tube. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this in upside down. Just guarantee that we make sure we do not have a clog in the nozzle. That's snug, snug. Notice the nozzles in between the slats. Closing the lid. Running another test. There you go. It kind of hesitated for a second and it cleared out the nozzle. So my nozzle is now cleared. It has a nice consistent stream of high pressure water. Gonna open this back up again. Once again, don't drop the nozzle in the tank. Could put a little tray down underneath here. Nozzle back in the head of the water jet. Gently tighten this down. I'm gonna clean out the feeder tube one more time, just in case we got some water in there. Unplugging that, taking our air nozzle. Oh yeah, should be dry. It's actually okay to have some water on here because when you're cutting, you'll actually notice this area kind of fills up with this like slurry of garnet and water. That goes back in the head of the water jet. Make sure that you connect the feeder tube back into the hopper. Gonna close the lid. Test, test. Now we had good flow coming out of the normal end of the nozzle. Now I'm going to put my screen back in the hopper. Just in case this garnet is wet, I'm just gonna let that dry for a little bit. I'm gonna add some new garnet. And now when I run a test, we should see garnet flowing from the hopper through the nozzle. Test. That indicates that we have garden flow. So that concludes how to unclog the Protomax. As far as why it clogs, I don't really know if it gets really close to your material cutting, sometimes it clogs, sometimes the water level, sometimes the shielding cup influences that we've had maybe the best luck cutting below lower water level without the cup, which makes it louder and more of a mess, but it does reduce the clogs, I think. That's it, thank you.